What you guys hope you had a lovely Christmas day. Switching computers, have you got a new computer and you want to see how you can back up all your old data on your computer and transfer it over to your new computer? Then this video is for you. So if you've got a new computer and you want to copy all of this user profile information over, then you can do it. It's quite simple. You don't need software, but software just makes it so much more easier. But if you wanted to do it manually, you can do. But you need to make sure you copy these hidden files and folders on your system. And I'll show you basically how you can do it here. So here we have our uh, user account, which is called Brightech, and we have a public account here as well. Now, copying over your data is pretty straightforward if it's photos and things like that. But if you've got documents that are tied to some sort of software, then making sure that you keep that symbolic link towards the software and the document is important. And this is why you need to make sure you go to the three dots here, go to folder options. And what you need to do is go to view because we need to show hidden files, folders and drives. And the reason for this is because there is a hidden folder inside here in program data and also app data. We have files inside here which may be linked to certain documents that you're using in that user profile. So we want to make sure we copy all of this stuff. So as you can see right here, we have our app data inside the user profile of this person, which is Brightech here. And you can see the app data right here. Now inside here, there is some folders which have symbolic link to software. For instance, if you're using some sort of office software, files and documents may be linked to that and you want to definitely make sure you copy that or it could be photo software that you're using and if you're reinstalling it it will automatically link up so let's take a look here we've got our user account right here if we click on this you'll see app data inside here we can highlight all of this if you want to copy all of this data over it's important you check the size of all of the data inside your user profile that way just make sure you've got enough space on your USB flash drive that you're using. In this case, we could be quite easily using a 32 gig USB flash drive for all of this data. If you've got any more space used up, you need to make sure you use bigger drives to copy that data over. We're going to also be copying the default and the public folder here because there's also some information in there that could be used on certain computers. Now, this is my USB flash drive here. You can see it's 128 gigabytes. So I've got plenty of storage on here for it. What I'm going to do is create a folder inside here called uh, user profile or something like that. Uh, just that way I know exactly what this stuff is. So I'm going to quickly create this one right here so I can copy all of the user profile into this folder. That way I know exactly where everything is. Now, you might have other locations on the drive as well, which is in your C root directory and other places that some people like to hide files and folders. Make sure you're backing all of that. You will need to go there manually and backing up all of that data as well. You can use backup software if you wish. You can use tree size to find large folders with data in them if they're hidden on the drive. And you can see here, I've now got my USB on one side and I've got the data on the left hand side. From here, you can choose what data you want to copy over. I generally copy everything over just to make sure that you've got everything you need. Make sure you're selecting the app data folder. You can separate this and select one at a time and discard some of the stuff you don't need to copy over. Make sure your downloads folder is included in this because there might be files inside there that they just haven't copied over. People do actually use the downloads folder as a backup area and it shouldn't be, but some people do. They don't ever empty it. So now once you've highlighted all of the data and make sure you've got that app data folder in there as well, we're going to copy that over to our USB flash drive into our user profile folder that we created earlier. Now this will take some time because it's copying it from the computer to a USB flash drive and your speed may vary depending on the speed of your USB flash drive you're using. Now we also have some other folders we need to copy over and I'll show you that in a second. We're just letting this finish. But if you do get messages like this popping up during the transfer over to your USB flash drive, you can 
generally not worry about these. These are normally system files, as you can see right here. Uh, so we can skip some of this. And again, it's going to ask you whether you want to copy this over. And I'm going to say yes here. And you can do that for all of the files and it will copy over exactly what you've just selected here. So now we have all of this information copied into our user profile folder on our USB flash drive. There's a couple of other folders I want to copy over. I do definitely want to copy over the default and the public uh, folder. The default folder is not that important, but I am going to copy it over anyway. And also the public folder, if they use that computer it publicly, you might want to copy that over there. Next, we're going to go back a little bit here and we're going to be looking for the uh, program data folder as well. So I'm just copying these outside of the user profile folder so I know which ones they are. And that's it right here. So we can now click on the back button. And like I said before, we need to make sure that we've got the program data right here on the C drive. You'll see it uh, sort of translucent color. This means it's grayed out. If you look inside here, you'll see that there is some uh, software links inside here that might be useful to you. Sometimes they can be linked to certain software. And if you're going to be reusing that software on the new computer, you'll definitely want to make sure that you have these sort of links uh, inside there backed up. That way uh, you're not going to run into any issues. So I'm going to copy this over like so. And it's saying it's a system folder. That's fine. So I'm just going to copy that over like so. And now we can sort of skip what we don't need here. I can check mark and say skip and skip again. That's geolocation there and a bunch of other stuff. So they're all system folders and I'm going to replace the files in the destination as well. And that's fine. So we should have all of our essential files that we need right here to copy over to the new computer. So I'm going to be taking this all over to the new PC now, plugging in my USB flash drive and then we can transfer all of this over. Before I do that, I just want to quickly show you this app data folder inside the user profile here. It's important that you copy this over because you'll see there is some uh, folders in here called local, local low and roaming. And these sometimes have links to certain files and, and software that you're using on that PC. So now we've got this, let's go over to the new computer and I'll show you how to quickly transfer this all over. And you should have no problems of using all of this data once you copy it over. So here we have our new PC and what we're going to do here, you may be wondering what will happen if we have a different user account. Well, it's not going to matter because we've made a new user account on this new computer, but we're not copying over the actual uh, user profile folder name. We've copied over the data so we can still use this data. So let's get this set up ready so i'm going to go into users here and there is a new user account that we're going to be using so i'm going to open this one up right here and you can see there's already a load of folders in there they're all empty because it's a brand new computer so we're going to be populating all of this data and copying it into this location so let's go back and set this up so we can copy over okay so i've got it all set up here on the right hand side we have our usb flash drive with our data on it. And on the left, we have our uh, new computer. So we're going to go to the new computer, go to the three dots, and we're going to basically show hidden files, folders, and drives like so. And we're going to click apply and OK. And there is all of the data right here. So what you can do is copy these over one at a time if you want to, or you can copy them all over in one go. It's entirely up to you. So let's take a look right here. So here is our folders. I want to take care of the public folder first. Now don't drag and drop over like this when you can see it already highlighted. Make sure you deselect and then copy and drag over the actual folder on top of it like so. And it will copy the contents for that straight into that location. So let's now deal with the other location inside user profile here. Inside here I'm just going to quickly go into the actual new user profile and you can see we've got all of the content here. Now you don't want to copy into this location. You want to drag it into the actual user profile itself. So highlight all of the content right here and basically just grab and drag over to the new profile or copy one at a time like so. If you want to do one at a time, you would do it like this. If you want to do it 
all together. You would just highlight it all and drag them all over in one go. Let me just show you the whole method here so you can see. I've done videos. I'm leaving that one behind. I'm just dragging it over here like so. Now, of course, this is going to be about 17 or gigabytes, so it's going to take a while to copy this over. So be patient because this is the whole user profile that we're copying over here, plus the app data. And sometimes the app data can be quite a large folder. Now, some people sometimes miss out the app data thinking they don't need it, but you might need it. So I would advise you to copy that over as well. Now, the same thing may happen where you will see a box pop up like this one right here. Just replace files in destination like so. Now, if you get something like this, this is going to be a system file. So we don't need to worry about this. And we could just skip this, check mark this and skip it if it's a system file, because we're not worried about that. We just want the data. So we're going to skip all of this stuff here because we don't need it. And there we go. That's now done. And we will have all of our data copied over. We still need to do the default folder and the uh, program data folder as well. And once we've done that, we should be pretty much good to go. So that should now be finished. And now what we're going to do is go back one here and we're going to go back to where it says program data and default here. We're going to copy the default over to our location. So let's just drag that over there like so and overwrite that one there. And we've just got one more, which is the program data, and that will be in the C directory here. So let's go back and we can copy that back over. So I'm going to go back here. Now, some people might not want to uh, copy this over, but I would advise you to just in case there's any sort of uh, linked files that you would need. And again, once you install that software again, it will link up and you should be fine. So let's go ahead and copy this over as well. Because as you see, there's uh, Microsoft OneDrive and there's Microsoft and there's some other stuff in here as well, like software distributions and things like that. So we do have uh, link software. So I'm going to copy this over as well. So let's go back. And all we need to do is do the same thing. Rinse and repeat. Just drag over. And that should now copy that data over. And that's pretty much it. You should have all of your data copied over. And you should be pretty much good to go now because we've copied over our desktop as well and everything else. All the files that you had on your desktop will be copied over and all your other data should be there as well. Like I said before, just check the computer thoroughly to make sure there's no folders that have been created in your C root directory and other places on the computer. You can always use programs like tree size, the free edition to see whether there's any folders that are large with data in them to copy those over. And that's pretty much it. We should have all of the data here that we've copied over from the PC, uh, from the old PC to the new PC using a drag and drop method. There's no software needed here. We've got all of our stuff copied over. Yours will probably be a lot more uh, data here, but you can see this is just a dummy uh, run here, but it's got data all copied over, documents and other things like photos and things like that has all been copied over. Now there is software that you can use to do all of this just to make it that bit easier. And I've made videos on that in the past, but some people didn't want to use software and they wanted to do it the manual way. And that's basically how you would do it the manual way. Now the software is PC data back. That's one piece of software you can use from uh, Kari Fred. He's made some awesome free software on his website. Check it out. There's programs like a uh, uh, tech tool store, and also UVK and a bunch of other tools that he's created. Very super easy to use. And again, if you want to see full videos on any of this sort of stuff, then let me know in the comments section down below and I'll be happy to make those videos for you. If you have other alternative software that you found that you would like to see videos on, then also let me know in the comments section and I'll be happy to make those videos for you. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it for a Boxing Day video. Hope you're all having a lovely Christmas and, uh, you know, sitting back and relaxing and enjoying time with your family. I'll be popping up the odd video here and there over the Christmas period, so stay tuned for those ones. And uh, again, hopefully we can get this uh, show on the road to 1 million subscribers in the new year as well. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from BrightechComputers.co.uk. 
Big shout out to my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.